so I want to go through a little bit more of an in-depth video. Uh, here's a little peek at my gear. I haven't jumped since pre-patch, but definitely a little decked, obviously, so. Um, uh, I'm sure you could do this in greens if you had, like, full of the owl or invoker set or some shit like that. I mean. But, yeah, you're, you're specting pretty much everything except, like, three things in fire. Um, and that helps a little bit for your safety. But, uh. Yeah, the glyphs are pretty huge. They help a lot. Frost Ward, Fire Ward, Glyph, just for that extra reflect. Um, you definitely want the Molten Armor Glyph. Uh, you can get the blink, blink if you want to be a little extra safe. But, um, yeah. With uh, just like how much spirit I have right now, I'm getting easily 9% crit, I think. Something like that. Just from the Molten Armor alone. And in your talent tree, you get a little, about 6% uh, more for your fire. So yeah, this was a, <laughs> a little bit more of a enjoyable run for myself. I, I kind of just fucked around, played a little stupid. So in case you're wondering what uh, those those little markers are around my character right now, it's uh, it's called Spell Activation Overlay. It's an add-on. I definitely recommend you get it. It helps a lot with uh, a lot of your procs and whatnot for any of your classes, honestly, if you play more than Mage too. But um, what you're seeing is there's a few different procs that are that are pretty pretty good, that are pretty useful, that you should be spamming. Um, I think Living Bomb is almost always going to be more damage than a Pyro Bat, than the Instant Pyro Blast, but uh, I still throw them out there just because, like, you know, someone will be a little quicker, full HP. If you want to nuke that down a little bit, like, right there, I probably would have just Fire Bombed. I think that would be better for DPS overall. Um, anyways, but yeah, uh, also another thing, your Blast Wave. Anytime you hit Blast Wave, uh, your specs so that you'll have a 100% chance to get an instant Flame Strike as well. So, especially like right here, or like any time in general, uh, I'd, I'd get them off as much as you can. Because, uh, obviously, it's huge damage. Your first few times running through this, maybe even more than that, depending on your experience on like boosting through this, uh, might not want to throw down as much of living bombs. You might just want to focus on your pathing and such. I, I I get pretty liberal with it and fuck around. It's just a little bit more exciting for me, as lame as that is. <laughs> uh, yeah, that blink spot. You know, just gotta hit it at an angle. Um, there's some invisible wall, so you'll you'll walk right off it. You gotta be careful with that, especially if your CDs, you know, is not up yet. So I'm sure most of you all noticed uh, the boss is there. Uh, basically, you could just kill him, you could solo him yourself. Uh, just keep linking up the wall and just attacking them. Just you know, do the same thing you do with any of the mobs, just uh, spamming all your spells. Uh, if you get let yourself get under 35%. Uh, that's like something that we're specced into that I put into the spec anyways. Uh, so basically your Pyro Blaster on a 5 second cooldown and it takes about 1.67 seconds to cast. But that's for me with my haste. Obviously we're a little different on everybody's play case, but under 2 seconds of Pyro Blast is pretty quick. Um... So yeah, after you kill them, basically all you got to do is uh, have someone else in your party. Uh, you can be logged out on your own other character, or if you have another account, do it on your other account. And uh, you just have to reset the instance once your mage is locked out, or anyone in the instance whatsoever. So just have them log out, and uh, reset the dungeon, and yep, you're good to go. So yeah, I definitely got a little fucking close here. <laughs> this is what I mean by I play a little bit liberal, liberally with it. Fucked up my coat of cold. And uh, yeah, anyways. Got really lucky. There's only two person, two people hitting me. So 
just watch the swing timer, get the Nova off, get to go. So yeah, just once you get all them, uh, I would not recommend running around in a circle up there. You could definitely pull it off, just, you know, got to be very, very careful because there'll be some guys with really low HP you just running really slow. That'll They'll be coming right at you from the other direction. Um, you know, just keep spamming your living bombs. Get your blast waves off. I, I could definitely have gone quite a few more off. Should definitely have that thing on spam CD. I know you're probably thinking I should be bandaging or throwing on a poster right now, and definitely doesn't hurt. Um, definitely doesn't hurt to fire one more often than I do too, because I'm pretty stupid with it. Uh, I'm actually just noticed it right now. <laughs> I still have my nether ray on my control three binding instead of the fire ward, so yeah. Uh, anyways, here's a more in-depth look of the talent spec. Uh, fiery payback, that one's pretty huge. That's the pyroblast one I was talking about. Um. Uh, See, like that's that's more ideal of how the blast wave should be getting done. Um, I haven't perfected it. I I I top on and do this every once in a while. Like this is just like kind of attending the level. Uh, maybe do like you know boost. Uh, I'm done. I have two accounts, so I'm definitely gonna throw another character in here and just level them like that. Right here is where I get greedy. I, I don't know why I always end up fucking doing this like a dumbass. Like, just just stick to the wall, keep doing the strat. Uh, I just feel like they're low enough so I could pull it out, but it's it's always too hard to tell. There's always a couple guys that are just full HP or near full HP and uh, are just still running pretty quickly, so they're they're further away and it, it, you just can't see them. But um, yeah. Anyways, I just added easily 30 seconds a minute here on my run for absolutely no reason, but yeah. But yeah, with how cheap consumables are nowadays, uh, I mean, no harm, just fucking consume. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you don't have to, but it doesn't hurt. Uh, Spirit's actually, like, pretty pog. Just because it scales the molten armor, and you glyph into it. Uh, if you don't have that much Spirit, and you, you don't care that much for the extra crit uh, bonus off it, you could definitely get the blink on your major uh, glyph versus it. And here's me being a little sketchball again for absolutely no reason. But uh yeah, had a had a close call here for sure. And the low HP fucker pulled a pat. Me being a little OCD, I had to get him. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know why I risked it all, but I, I did it for a couple mobs right here. For a mob right here. I wasn't planning on typing, or talking to the, typing, yeah. I wasn't planning on talking on this video, so that's why I did all that. Get myself a nice little free blast wave. <laughs> Play with a little fire. Get my kill. Get the fuck out of here. Let's go. 